So what is satanic then? Now this is an interesting concept that can be difficult for the slow folks to grapple with, but one can easily view the world through a satanic lens without considering oneself a satanist or referring directly to it. Something can be satanic without necessarily being explicitly about Satanism. This may be paradoxical, but I will explain. We can discuss the satanic from multiple angles, but I only have time to discuss one. What is satanic is not a mere reversal of Christianity. For example, the Lord's Prayer being said backwards is still the Lord's Prayer. And the Lord's Prayer is a supplication to a divinity. It is a beggar's bowl to a supernatural creature clamoring for intercession in personal security, the provision of food, and a pleading that the Lord God steer the supplicant away from doing bad things. I mean, it's a total rejection of personal responsibility for the most fundamental of human needs. An explicit satanic equivalent may be Baudelaire's The Litanies of Satan, where he takes the Lord's Prayer and kind of blasphemes it up a bit, exchanging Mary's name with Satan. But something a little more inspiring may, might be Carducci's Hymn to Satan. I've truncated it to a few lines in English. To you, my darling, verses are unleashed. I invoke, O Satan, monarch of the feast. Put aside your sprinkler priest and your litanies. No priest Satan does not retreat. You breathe, O Satan, in my verses when from my heart explodes a challenge to God. Of wicked pontiffs, bloody kings, and like lightning you shock men's mind. Sculpture, Painting and poetry first lived for you, Ariman Adonis Astarte. When Venus Adonomi blessed the clear Ionian skies, as Martin Luther threw off his monkish robes, so throw off your shackles, O mind of man, and crowned with flame, shoot lightning and thunder. Matter rise, Satan has won. Hail, O Satan, O rebellion, O, o you avenging force of human reason. All the hallmarks of the satanic worldview are there. Indulgence, the beauty and wonder of the material world, a rejection of the oppressive faiths, a championing of human exceptionalism, and finally, the triumph of reason. Personally, my preference would be no mocking prayer or long-form poem, however fun or inspiring that may be. I mean, I like poetry well enough, but if I was in the company of friends and family, a more implicitly satanic equivalent of a prayer would be a simple toast. Here's to cheating, stealing, fighting, and drinking. If you cheat, may you cheat death. If you steal, may you steal a woman's heart. And if you fight, may you fight for a brother. And if you drink, may you drink with me. These simple five lines are nothing but a series of satanic themes. The first line is bombastic, but what follows is a carnal celebration of the living in the here and now. You can keep heaven. I'll be down here with the Lord of this earth. Film noir is satanic. Al Jolson and Richard Strauss are satanic. Sex dolls and homosexuality is satanic. Rejecting the world is a trademark of all the world's major religions. Those who hate life pray for the blessing of it to end. Those who love life toast to its joys. Living for the here and now, re reveling in the world as it is, tragic, flawed, beautiful, and indulgent, is satanic. To my wife, with whom I just celebrated my fifth wedding anniversary. To my dear friends, Peter and Peggy, who just celebrated their 30th. Salute, Lahayam chin chin, skull. 